my name is Birdbrain and today we're still talking about Harmony Basics. Last week we talked about how to draw one frame and this week we're gonna cover the timeline. Let me empty my timeline so that we can all start fresh. To delete a layer, you can just click on the layer and go on the minus sign and get rid of it. So now my timeline is all empty. So this is a timeline. If you prefer to use an X sheet, we also have an X sheet. You can find it in the plus sign and here X sheet. Uh, I like to use both for different things. So first, to add a layer, how do you do it? Usually we go into the timeline and you press on this icon here, add the drawing layer, and you can just name it and add it. Of course, if you're curious about the art layers, you can check out the video I'm gonna put into the description. Since we're gonna do animation, we're gonna uncheck this because we actually want our frames to not be exposed for the whole scene. So I'm gonna do that and create my layer. So if you wanna know the shortcut is Control R or Command R on a Mac. This will pop the add drawing layer window and you can just keep adding layers if you want. Okay, so by default, uh, my timeline is, zoom in, is zoomed in like this. If you want to change the zoom in your timeline, you can press on one or two to make it bigger or smaller. You can also use the magnifying lens over here to change the zoom. If you want to rename your layer, you can double click here and you can rename it. Speaking of layers, in your timeline here, you have different buttons. The eyes are made to show or hide your layer. And by the way, they follow your pencil around. Whoa. And then here, uh, the circle here is the solo mode. So if you had, for example, multiple layers like this one, and then if I make another one, which is a square, <laughs> that's gonna be my new layer. Uh, if I choose my circle layer and I solo it, I will only see my circle layer. So very useful if you have many layers in your scene. I'm gonna get rid of this this and then you have the onion skin we're gonna cover this later we have the lock okay so you just open harmony you want to animate something what do you do you go in your timeline you should have a layer called drawing let's use this one uh, usually there's nothing in your timeline if you want to create a drawing in your timeline you can just take your brush tool and draw this should create a drawing you can also just go somewhere in your timeline and press on this button create empty drawing and it's also going to create an empty drawing so either you draw or you press on the button create empty drawing which is great. If you already have a drawing uh, and you want to uh, start from this drawing and change it, you can also use the duplicate drawing button, which is gonna make a copy of your current drawing and allow you to modify it. So now you have two different drawings. Are you confused by how they look in the timeline here? I am. So you can go into your layers here and here you have a little guy stuck in a frame. If you click on this, uh, you're gonna see your frames here. You can also zoom in with the magnifying lens to see your frames. Phenomenal. So by default, when I draw my drawing lasts for two frames. I can see that because in my timeline, it's a two here. So this is the number of your drawing and this is the exposure. If you want to change exposure, you go to X sheet, menu here, exposure, change the whole exposure to anything you want, such as three. So now if you want to keep adding frames to your animation, you can press on F and G and your keyboard. So F and G is the shortcut to go from one drawing to the other. But if you don't have a drawing next, it's gonna put your cursor in the void after your frame so that if you keep drawing, it's gonna keep adding a new drawing. So if you wanna practice learning harmony just using straight ahead, it's super easy to animate like a bouncing ball. You can just draw a ball here, press on G, make another drawing, make another drawing. And each time you wanna make another drawing, you press on G and it's just going to go to the next frame. super easy. So here at the beginning, I have my useless frames. If you want to get rid of those, you can just click and drag and delete your drawings. However, be careful in Harmony. Uh, if you have your cursor on your frame and you click and then you click again, you're going to kind of move it around. So it's very important to kind of like make sure that your needle is not where you click first when you want to drag. So I'm going to click here. If I drag, it's going to drag my frame, which is not what I want. I'm going to go in an empty space and just click and drag to make my selection. And then I delete it. Uh, my frames are not there. However, very important things. These frames are not gone. They're just back in your pile of paper. So to see your pile of paper, you can go to a view that is called the drawing substitution view. And you see all my drawings from before are still there. So that is a very important thing in Harmony. If you click on your frame and you delete it using the delete key, it's not gone. It's just not exposed. So you can always go there and bring it back. This is very important to say because people always panic. Uh, I can do this and delete and not have any sweat <laughs> because I know my drawings are still there and I can just bring them back. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is just take my frames, click and drag like this and if you click again and drag you can just put them at the beginning of your scene so that is how you wouldn't manipulate your frames 
if you have more questions about this i do have a video that goes into the details of how the timeline works i just wanted to show you like the basics of how you make your frames play one after the other if you want to change the timing of your frames you can select them by click and dragging right click and you have in exposure exposure you have lots of different options that you can explore uh, I do like the set exposure to 1, 2, or 3 because it's very fast to just change your timing. If you want to add a drawing between 7 and 8, you can just go to the 8 drawing, press on Shift J, the letter J on your keyboard, and then what this is going to do is it's going to push everything away and allow you to draw on the empty frame. If you know that your exposure is set to 2 by default, just make sure that when you do the Shift J command, uh, you press J twice because then it's going to do 1, 2, and if you draw, you will kind of fill the gap because if you only do it once, and you draw, you see it's going to eat the next drawing. So just be careful about that. And um, yeah, that's how you would create new drawings. If you want to make a cycle that is very important uh, in Harmony, because of the technology I've shown you that your drawings are never really deleted with your key, they're just put back into the pile of paper. Um, you can just uh, take your animation here. And if you copy and paste it, it is the same drawing. So that if my drawing number five is here, and here, if I put bunny ears on this one, um, the first drawing is also going to have it because it is exactly the same drawing. Uh, that's why here you have the number five and here it's the number five. If you want to have a cycle and you want the second cycle to be different, or or if I, if I take one of my drawing here and I copy and paste it and I want it to be different, always make sure you're making a duplicate of that drawing. To do that, go here and use the duplicate drawing button uh, here you see that my drawing is number 5. If I put my cursor here and I duplicate it, now it's number 14. So it's the same artwork, but it's going to be a different page in my pile of papers. Okay, so now that you know that, uh, always be careful because if you copy-paste your frame from your timeline, it's the same drawing. If you take the artwork with your select tool and you cut or you copy-paste it on a different frame, it is going to create a new drawing. Okay, so always be careful about that. And uh, then that's it. I'm just going to remove my exposure and start new to get maybe like my bouncing ball and that's how you would do it that's the easiest way to just animate your straight ahead in harmony you can just go to your drawing if you want to delete a drawing for good <laughs> you can uh, go in your drawing substitution view you can get the lock here unlocked and then if you right click on your drawing you can delete the selected drawing if you want to delete a bunch uh, you can click and then shift click on a bunch and delete them all at once just be careful because this is uh, kind of uh, destructive because you're actually deleting your drawing. You always have access to Ctrl Z if you messed up, but this is like the permanent death of your drawing. So that's why it's hidden behind the lock. Yeah, these are the basics to just animating something in Harmony. You get your layer, you draw, and then you press on G and you just keep drawing your frame. And if you want to add a frame in between two, you just press on Shift J and you can add another drawing in between. So that's the basic. I hope you liked it and I'm going to see you again next week. Bye bye.